I know these two are in two totally different price categories, but I wanted to make a quick video going over the Shun Classic four and three quarter inch steak knives and the Victorinox Fibrox four and a half inch steak knives. Um, one is serrated, one is a straight edge, just to make that quick note, and that's not where the differences end. The Shun is forged and handmade in Japan, and the Victorinox is machine made and stamped out of a single sheet of metal in Switzerland. The Shun is covered in 34 layers of stainless steel on either side, which gives it this gorgeous Damascus finish, and the Victorinox is obviously not. That makes this a little bit more impervious to stains, to pitting, to rust, and things like that. The Shun has a full tang, the Victorinox does not, its tang ends about right here. And the Shun has a pack of wood handle, which is a compressed resin filled wood, while the Victorinox has a the Fibrox handle, which is essentially a glass filled sort of nylon. Both of them are very impervious to water damage, to staining and things like that. On top of that, the Shun uses VG Max steel, which is a very, very hard, very, very high end steel. While the Victorinox does not, it uses a very soft 55 to 56 hardness versus the 61 hardness on this, which means that it does get dull much faster. Here's the thing though, even though those things are said, even though they both have a lifetime warranty, even though Shuns come with free sharpening for life, which I've always, I've always, I've always loved, I don't really condone purchasing an expensive set of steak knives because as we've always been told, when you're using good knives, you use them on a wood cutting board, you don't use them on ceramic, you don't use them on glass, you don't use them on china, but that's exactly what you do with steak knives. You grind through meat on a plate, which means that a beautiful knife like this is going to get dull and is going to chip and is going to get damaged very, very quickly. And I honestly don't understand why these companies keep making these steak knives out of the same metal when they could use a softer metal and save themselves a lot of hassle. So I would suggest Buy this if you really want a nice set of steak knives for special occasions, for very, very limited use that you would normally not use. But buy these guys if you really just want a steak knife that you're going to use every day to cut through food and things like that. I'll put a link down to both below if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you very soon.